Usually I don't get a good response for talking about economics or finance or money in general. So many Americans are completely mystified by money. And when I say mystified, they're so mystified, they don't even realize that they don't know about money. They can have a 60 year, year $60,000 a year job and not know the first thing about money. They know that two plus two equals four, and that's about it. If you start going into economics, if you start mentioning minimum wage, if you start men, uh, mentioning uh, freedom of choice, freedom of association, freedom of transaction, freedom of contract, glow goes right over their head. And what's what's really terrible in this nanny state is that they think they know. They think they have an opinion. You can't have an opinion about something you don't know about. But in this state of keeping adults in the form of children, especially women, they think that they can voice an opinion, but they don't have an opinion and they don't realize that. I'm going to talk about Bitcoin. I've been very hesitant to, to talk about Bitcoin because I haven't really decided yet whether it is a complete scam or if it really is a freely come about algorithm that made the Bitcoins come to light. So I'm just presenting this. Bitcoin has ushered in a freedom that circumvents governments. For a lot of the children that we call adults, that we call upstanding citizens, who believe that the government knows best, the very idea that the government knows best is, is makes my uh, stomach boil and, you know, make me throw up. I get uh, irritable bowel syndrome from anybody who says that the, the government knows, knows best. Doctors know best. No, they don't. What's a doctor? It's a person I went to medical school. Let me repeat that. A doctor is a person I went to medical school. That's it. They didn't, they didn't do anything magical. There was no Watusi performed. Uh, there was no, uh, shake, rattle, and roll. There was no, uh, the witch doctor that blessed them with his urine. You know, he didn't pee on, pee on them, uh, in, under the moonlight. They simply went to medical school. Oh, what's that? Going to medical school is really something? Oh, okay. Why don't you do this? Why don't you actually go look at a medical school? Get all of their books. Boom. You know what the doctor knows. Oh, you don't think so? Oh, they work on cadavers? Oh, you can do that too. You can do everything that a doctor has done in medical school. There is nothing that a doctor knows that you cannot know. Right? Okay, right? So that demystifies the doctor. Okay, let's take that metaphor and apply it to the government. What does the government know? The government doesn't know anything. A lot of the NSA stuff, a lot of the CIA stuff, a lot of the electronic stuff that they pretend like they know, the actual nerd computer community is 10 years ahead of them. Now you say, oh, the government has secret organizations and they have technology. No, that's the secret nerd community. That is 10 years ahead of those guys. And it's the government that comes in and arrest all the nerds and seize all of their equipment and seize all of their uh, inf information, seize all of their intellectual property. Uh, this is a, this is a matter of national security. No, this isn't a matter of national security. This is a matter of you not being on my level, not even on the level below me, to quote John Cena. And you want to be in control. You want to have all the power. You want to have all the toys. And you have these idiots who call themselves adults running behind you like you're like you're the ice ice cream man. We have governments now incapable of putting their thumb on your neck because of Bitcoin. Now, they're, they can prosecute you after, after the fact, but the deed is done once you do it right? They're like the police. They can't stop the actual act. The government tries to, right? The police, the police never tried to. The police have never been about stopping the act. The police have come after the, okay, tell me what the facts are, ma'am. Just the facts, ma'am, right? If you get that reference. So before where they could say, oh no, visa? No, you have to go jump through these hoops. Oh, you're trying to fund this uh, organization here to give 0% interest loans to all of the people in my country. No, you can't do that. Visa is denied. MasterCard is denied. PayPal is denied. 
but not Bitcoin. You can't, there, there's no third party that you have to go through. You go, here's my money. Take it out of my wallet. Thank you. You're welcome. The deed is done. The government can't do anything about that. And I'm not talking about some third world country. I'm talking about the United States forbidding people to transact, not for illegal stuff, but for legal stuff. Zero percent interest loan legal. There's nothing against the law. In fact, the ethic, the ethical and moral laws that they try and impose would applaud a zero percent interest loan. But the government doesn't want people giving out money. They don't even want you donating to charities. What do you think they would, uh, how they would react if you gave out your money and only required just what you gave out in return? And it doesn't matter how many years you waited. They are in stitches about it. Just upset. So it's just pissed off. And this is what you can do with Bitcoin. That is some good with Bitcoin. I still haven't decided about Bitcoin, but I know you can do this. I know you can do this and you can do this all over the world. They were mad at WikiLeaks. They cut off PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, Sears, everything. You, you couldn't donate to WikiLeaks, but everybody who had Bitcoin could. Here you go. Here's, here's $5,000 for you to continue WikiLeaks through Bitcoin. What do you think about that? Please give my video a thumbs up. Just click the thumbs up button and I will be happy, a happy, like a pig in, in poop. I think that, I think that's a better saying than the uh, original saying, right? Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.